Hello everybody and welcome back to Serious Talk. I'd like to apologise first of all for the fact that I've not been around uh, and haven't done a Serious Talk video for two weeks. Um, obviously they are, it's a Monday thing um, to replace the update videos which I did before. Uh, the reason I don't do update videos is just because um, it's not necessarily a need to. I mean, I could just update people in, you know, another video. I could update people in this video, for example, you know, whilst I'm talking about something else. So, today, as you can see in the background, we're playing some Modern Warfare 2 on the Invasion map, Team Deathmatch multiplayer. My kit is an M4A1, uh, I believe it's with an extended mag and a red dot sight. Um, so, um, using a bunch of other things, the, the, the the perks that make you run a bit quicker and run for longer because I like to kind of move around not be sat still for ages. Um, well, so what are we going to be talking about today? Well, um, before I do start, first of all, I would like to say is how awful I am at this game. Um, I, th I think I finished the game something like 3 for 10, um, but the, it's not about the... Uh, it's not about the gameplay, it's more about the serious talk for today. Um, and, you know, it's just in the background uh, for a little bit of a uh, little bit of fun. Like I say, I don't particularly play this game, but it kind of intwi intertwines in with the video and the whole topic. So, uh, what are we going to be talking about today? Well, first of all, I wanted to talk about how certain games are played um, at, a, at a younger age. So, say for example, Call of Duty and uh, Battlefield, which you featured in the last one. Um, you you know that they are 16s to 18s, and people uh, are always saying, "Oh, we get all these whiny people, we get all these and that, and all these kids that just rage around." Um, I mean, I know that obviously you can't always uh, you can't always stop people doing uh, playing certain games, you know, at certain ages you, you do get the choice, but you know, some to some people it seems like it puts them off playing them, and it does to me. It puts me off playing. You know, games like Call of Duty sometimes, and as I say, I know I'm not great at the game, um, at the Call of, any of the Call of Duty franchise. I loved Black Ops 2, though. Um, that was probably the last main one I owned, and I loved it. I loved playing zombies, I loved playing multiplayer. Um, but what kind of put me off is when I was playing the games, you'd get all these people that would be screaming around and... You, then you get all the older people who were taking the piss out of them, and it was like, "Well, this isn't a game. This is just a sarcastic laugh around." Um, and it, it did kind of put me off playing. And I don't know whether other people share that kind of same, same feeling. But um, as I say, this is a discussion kind of video. So if you do have any views on something like this, then drop it in the comment section below, and uh, we can be sure to have conversation about it. Maybe I'm overlooking the whole situation. Maybe not. But um, you know. So, uh, you know, what else have we been talking about? Um, I, you know, apart from the age difference in a video game and how it's played, I also sometimes find that games like Call of Duty are, you know, maybe aimed at those kind of people. Um, you know, it's kind of, although they, although it's an 18, although it's played and built for a certain style, um, it often seems to entice the fact that people should go around, you know, at a younger age, you know, screaming with each other, pissing around, um, you know, playing in, in that kind of way, which sometimes gets me, sometimes annoys me, and it's just a bit weird how they do it. And if you see in this quick little clip here, I, I do completely fail, and as I said before, I am horrible at this game. I don't try and be good, I do not play it very often. I completely miss where he is there. So what else is there to talk about? Well, I've also found that in Call of Duty, um, the game style has changed. And I don't know whether it's just because of this game. And I remember playing uh, playing Modern Warfare 2. This is played on the PC, but I do remember playing this on the 360. Um, and I, I was a I was a Microsoft uh, fanboy. I uh, played on all the all the Microsoft consoles. Um, I did have a PlayStation 2, and I did, but then at, back then I did also have an Xbox original, so I had both. Um, and I played COD on the your console, but when, when when we played any COD, it it just all it was was you know running around shooting people when you saw them, SMGs, you know snipers, quick scopes, all of those. Now I've gone back and playing MW2. Um, 
nobody does. Nobody runs around apart from myself. It seems that you get 90% of the people either camping with snipers or camping with LMGs. And you see that quite a lot in this video. And it's not, and it's not an excuse for me playing poorly. Like there, I mean, I go down to crouch to suppress that guy, but he's crouching up in that point. That's, they're nowhere near there. They're not defending anything. This is team deathmatch. Um, so I don't see why, like, that person there, and I mean, I know I, I should have seen him, I should have shot him, but he was kind of lying there, and that's all they do, they just lie down, they get lie prone, um, and it, it seems to be a completely different mentality and playstyle to what it was before, I think if you see here in the video, I do decide to just say, fuck it, I'll, I'll see what I can do, I'll go prone for a bit, and, uh, you know, See if it helps me. See if it see if it helps me even get more than a three kill streak and call in a UAV. Because you know I was struggling the whole game for something like that. And eventually I just I just get bored of it. And I don't see how people can play a game like this. How people can play the game where they just camp. Um, and it is not the few people anymore. And I remember when I played COD that people got abused in effect. People got shouted at for camping. But now it's not. Now it's completely different. You know, now it's everyone camps, everyone noob tubes, everyone, you know, sits there, sits at the back with an LMG or runs into a building with lots of people and just goes nade, 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 you know, bang, 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 dead. Because that's how p people seem to play this, this game anymore. And I don't know, because I don't play every every COD. I don't play the new CODs. And I've seen some of the new CODs and they, they don't seem to be played. They seem to be played the original COD style. But MW2 is played this kind of way. People just camping around the corners. See this guy? Yes, I know. I run into run into some sort of mine, but you know, it it, it I see, I see it as a bit of a shame that it's not played the same way as it ever has been. Um, which maybe is the reason why I fail in this game, even though I am horrendously bad. I think, I think uh, we come towards the end of the episode, but pretty damn soon. And uh, now we get one more kill, and uh, we start to run towards the. You can see the Harrier jump jet uh, is coming in there. Which are absolutely um, ridiculous. I mean, I, I do remember MW2 having Harriers and the, the helis being so stupidly overpowered. And there we go, we do finish the game. Alright, guys. Sorry if this episode does seem a bit lost. Um. I need to kind of, I guess, write a script for these kind of things and, um, you know, go through it. But it is a serious talk thing. It's more here just to have discussion with you guys, kind of build up a connection between myself and you as as my subscriber base, or as my viewer base, um, and put out my views on certain games. And they won't always be these kind of games. Um, and they may be a bit few more distant from now. And I don't even know how long this series is going to be. It, it won't be every week. Uh, it may be every two weeks like it currently is, um, but, you know, we'll see from there on. Guys, thank you ever so much for watching. If you enjoyed, hit that like button. If you have any comments on any of the, dis on any of the things that I've discussed today, drop them in the comment section below. I'll be sure to get back and have a little chat with you about them, about your views and how you see things. Also, if you have any suggestions on what I could talk about next, any discussion topics, and also maybe how I could improve the series, go ahead, drop them as well below, and I'm always grateful for feedback from you guys. It helps me grow, and um, I'm, I'm always you know, happy to change how I style certain things. Also, maybe suggest what game you'd like to see in the background, along with the topic. And also, if you're new around here, uh, hit that like, hit subscribe button. Like if you enjoyed the video. Links in the description, as always, for my Twitter and my Twitch. I've been Pete Bush, and it's been an absolute pleasure, guys. And uh, look forward to reading your comments. Peace. Wrong one.